Professor Jeffrey Hinton has a stark message for governments. Within the next decade, about 50% of jobs could be replaced by AI. This warning shouldn't be taken lightly, because Hinton isn't just another high-profile figure making headlines. He's a pioneering computer scientist and one of the top experts in AI, earning him the title of Godfather of AI. So, when he speaks, it's worth paying close attention. In a recent interview, Jeffrey Hinton said, What are the careers they should be looking at? What are the attributes of them? I'll give you a little story about being a carpenter. If you're a carpenter, it's fun making furniture. But it's a complete dead loss because machines can make furniture. In another interview, he shared his concern about the future of work, saying, Yes, I'm very worried about AI taking over lots of mundane jobs. Creative and physical jobs. Creative jobs are being shaped more and more by technology, especially artificial intelligence. In the UK, the creative industries had 2.4 million jobs in 2022, which is a 14.1% increase since 2019. This growth is much faster compared to the overall job market, which grew by only 0.6%. However, while AI offers new possibilities, it also brings challenges. Studies show that around 26% of tasks in arts and design could be automated potentially impacting about 203,800 jobs in the U.S. alone. Mira Murati, the CTO of OpenAI, shared her views on the future of AI and made some bold statements. When the interviewer asked about the impact of AI on creative jobs, she said, I think so. And, you know, some, some creative jobs maybe will go away. Um, but maybe they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Uh, you know, if, if the content that comes out of it is not very high quality, but I, I really believe that using it as a tool for education, creativity will expand our intelligence and creativity and imagination. Now, after considering different AI tools, it feels like it's true that all creative jobs are in danger. For example, if you look at generative tools like ChatGPT, Sora, Flux, and MidJourney, it's disturbing for a while to see how an AI tool can make such amazing pictures in seconds. And if these are the results now, what about the future? Generative AI tools are not just limited to creating images. They can write compelling stories, compose music, and even generative video content. This rapid advancement raises questions about the future of creative professions. Will human creativity still hold value when AI can produce high-quality content at a fraction of the time and cost? Let us know in the comments what you think. When it comes to physical or laborious jobs, reports from organizations like the International Monetary Fund suggest that physical jobs are among the most exposed to automation. Routine Manual tasks are easier to automate, meaning jobs in industries like manufacturing, construction, and logistics could be heavily affected. The World Economic Forum also forecasts that a large percentage of physical jobs may be eliminated in the next five years due to automation. Analytical Logical Jobs The rise of AI is not only transforming creative jobs, but also reshaping analytical and logical professions, such as software development. AI tools are increasingly being integrated into the software development lifecycle, enhancing productivity and efficiency. Generative AI tools like GitHub Copilot and OpenAI's Codex are revolutionizing the way developers write code. Did you know that 41% of code on GitHub is already AI generated? So an inevitable is 41% of all code on GitHub right now is AI generated. Wow. According to Ahmad Mostak, the founder of Stability AI, there will be no programmers within the next five years. There are no programmers in five years. No programmers in five years. AI tools can help developers identify bugs, suggest improvements, and even generate entire code bases from simple prompts. 
This allows developers to focus on more complex and creative aspects of software development. However, the prediction that there will be no programmers within the next five years is quite controversial. While AI will undoubtedly change the landscape of software development, many experts believe that human oversight and creativity will remain essential. AI can assist and enhance the work of developers, but it is unlikely to completely replace them. Being a software engineer is great, but it's just as important to develop soft skills and stay updated with industry trends. Take prompt engineering, for example. It's a game changer in the AI-driven software world. Mastering the art of crafting precise prompts can significantly enhance the output from AI tools like Codex or GitHub Copilot. Engineers who can blend traditional coding with AI integration will be in high demand. Staying adaptable is key to standing out in this evolving field. If you want to learn more about prompt engineering, check out the video linked in the i button. UBI Jeffrey Hinton also dropped a bombshell by talking about the upcoming elections in the USA. He said, In the systems we live in, that wealth is going to go to the rich and not to the people whose jobs get lost. And that's going to be very bad for society, I believe. So it's going to increase the gap between rich and poor, which increases the um, chances of right-wing populists getting elected. He believes there's a partial solution to this problem, and that is universal basic income. This would provide everyone with a basic salary, regardless of their job status, from age 18 until the end of their lives. The goal is to protect people from the huge job losses that AI might cause. Professor Hinton mentioned that he has also discussed UBI with people in Downing Street. But here, the big question is, are they really listening? In a recent interview, Jeffrey Hinton said, Yes, yeah, so I'm very worried about AI taking over lots of mundane jobs. And that should be a good thing. It's going to lead to a big increase in productivity, which leads to a big increase in wealth. And if that wealth was equally distributed, that would be great. But it's not going to be. Jeffrey Hinton supports the idea of universal basic income. However, he also believes that UBI alone isn't enough. Many people find a sense of purpose and self-worth through their work. Simply giving people money doesn't address this need for self-respect and fulfillment that comes from having a job. He said, Yes, I certainly believe in universal basic income. I don't think that's enough, though, because a lot of people get their self-respect from the job they do. And if you put everybody on universal basic income, that, doesn't, that solves the problem of them starving and not being able to pay the rent, but it doesn't solve the self-respect problem. Work is not just about making money. It's also about having motivation and a sense of purpose. Take the time of the coronavirus pandemic, for example. Many of us were confined to our homes, doing little more than ensuring we had enough to eat and drink while trying to navigate the crisis. It wasn't only the virus that weighed heavily on us, but the profound absence of purpose that accompanied the situation. In many ways, life felt void of meaning. Similarly, while universal basic income can provide financial relief and prevent starvation, much like during the pandemic when our basic needs were met, it doesn't address the human need for fulfillment or a sense of direction in life. Which jobs will survive AI? While AI is likely to take over routine tasks, it's important to understand that not all jobs are at risk. The survival of certain professions is tied to the law of supply and demand, and roles that require uniquely human qualities are expected to thrive in an AI-dominated industry. AI is exceptional at processing data, automating repetitive tasks, and learning from patterns. But it lacks one crucial element. Human qualities like empathy, creativity, and complex decision-making. Jobs that rely on these traits are less likely to be replaced by AI. For example, roles in healthcare, such as doctors, nurses, and therapists, require emotional intelligence, ethical decision-making, and personal interaction, which are difficult for AI to replicate. Similarly, in education, 
teachers and counselors need human judgment and emotional understanding. While AI can assist with administrative tasks or provide data analysis, the role of human educators in guiding and supporting students remains irreplaceable. Even in creative fields like art, music, and design, AI can generate ideas or assist with technical tasks. But human intuition, emotion, and originality are still crucial for success. According to a report by McKinsey, AI has the potential to automate up to 45% of tasks across industries. However, not all jobs are equally vulnerable. Routine tasks, data entry, simple customer service roles, and certain manufacturing jobs are at the highest risk of automation. These jobs involve repetitive activities that AI systems can handle more efficiently. For example, in the banking industry, customer service chatbots are becoming more common, replacing traditional call center roles. However, on the flip side, there are many jobs where AI will not replace humans, but will instead work alongside them, increasing efficiency and productivity. Jobs in fields like law, finance, and manufacturing will benefit from AI-driven tools that help professionals process data faster and more accurately. In law, for instance, AI can assist with legal research and document drafting, but lawyers still need to provide interpretation, strategy, and negotiation. The World Economic Forum predicts that AI will displace about 85 million jobs by 2025, but also create 97 million new roles in areas like AI development, robotics, and data science. In customer service, AI-powered chatbots and automation systems can handle simple tasks, but complex or emotional customer interactions will still require human input. The blend of AI efficiency and human emotional intelligence will improve the overall customer experience, creating more meaningful and productive roles for people in these fields. As AI reshapes industries, it will also create a new class of jobs that don't exist today, just as the agricultural and industrial revolutions created entirely new sectors of employment, so will the AI revolution. New roles such as AI trainers, machine learning specialists, and ethics consultants will emerge. According to Gartner, by 2030, there will be over 375 million new jobs in AI-related fields. These roles will focus on improving AI, monitoring its decisions, and ensuring its ethical deployment across industries.